Well, 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 well. The day has finally come. Mr. Charlie say, meet me over here, downtown, 3 a.m. Woke up at 1 a.m. He had the alarm set on two phones just in case the first one didn't go off because I didn't hear it did happen too many times up there in North Dakota. So I hear two alarms set. Got downtown about 2.15 a.m. in the morning. Mr. Charlie got there at 2.30 a.m. We logged on. We went on duty. Clock started. Pouring down raining is what was going on. Pouring down raining all day today in Nashville. Anyways. We do our pre-trip inspection. Now, I'm looking at this situation. I'm like, I'm still waiting for Mr. Charlie to say, psych. You know, I'm, I'm looking at this trailer. You know, looking at these logos. I'm looking at Mr. Charlie. Mr. Charlie tell me the passenger door is unlocked. I'm so okay. Hmm. Hmm. Do you want me to? You want me to get in in the passenger seat? You, me, you, you want me to get in? Yeah, yeah, go on, get on up in there, get a feel for things. I hop on up in the truck. You know, I got my FRs on. I came from pick. I'm an FR shirt that I just got off Amazon for thirty five dollars. See, FR cat too, baby. Got this thirty five dollars. Look, I came prepared. Look, I even ordered some. Look, I here. Look, got my little safety. Look. Got the side shoe. I got this off Amazon too, baby. I came. I was already prepared. I already had a hard hat, steel toe boots, FR pair. I had everything, baby. Except a safety vest. Mr. Charlie had to give me a safety vest. But anyway, so I get up in this truck, close the door. I'm looking around. I ain't trying to get too too comfortable up in here. So I'm just looking around. I'm like, all right, okay. I look behind me. I'm like, damn. Forgot it was a day cab. <laughs> Forgot it was a day cab. I'm like, damn, man, that's a big tanker behind me. Mr. Charlie? Hey, now, now, now Mr. Charlie, now, what's next? Because now you're telling me I'm getting paid for all of my time. He told me the, the, the clock is ticking. We done done this pre-trip or inspection. Now, 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 what comes next? Is this another interview or what are we doing, Mr. Charlie? Cause I, I'm still trying to figure out is we really going to take off in this truck. I'm just sitting back just waiting. You know, nothing, nothing, not, nothing that's going to surprise me, okay? So, Mr. Charles say, well, okay, we better go and uh, go to our first stop, get loaded. Is that right, Mr. Charlie? Probably believe you when we pull out the parking lot. Oh, Mr. Charlie, automatic truck, baby. I don't know what he pressed, but he put it in drive. <laughs> took off. Took off, took off, ran out the park. I'm like, oh, damn, Mr. Charlie, okay, we're doing this for real, okay? This is not a drill, baby. Okay, well, well, well all right, Mr. Charlie, where are we going to then? He tell me where we're going. It's about 10 minutes away. I, oh, okay, okay, no problem here, Mr. Charlie. Is we really going? I look back again. I, okay, they, it's not a drill. We still connected to that thing. That thing was still connected. I had to look back again. I said, damn, it's still connected. I thought... I thought we pulled out the parking lot just Bob telling <laughs> had to make had to make sure it was still connected to a trailer. Cause I went for Mr. Charlie. I can't believe Mr. Charlie. Maybe Mr. Tra maybe you guys ain't took the time to tell Mr. Charlie who they hired yet, but uh, they, they'll figure it out. I'm pretty sure they will. So anyway, we get to the loading rack. Okay, looking at the loading rack, I'm like maybe this is the part where they say sight. I'm looking at the situation, the arms coming down, different color codes. It's like I didn't seen this situation before over at Loose Site pulling chemicals. Something similar to it, you know, not the same thing, you know, different setup, but something similar. Mr. Charlie get to telling me about the different colors. Now, I may I may forget here because it's only my first day. Mr. Charlie tell me, you know, the yellow arm, that's the diesel, okay? The red got the premium, the white is the unleaded, and then if it, I guess if it's black, white, or black, then I don't know what that means. I forgot. I, I forgot. That's all I'm going to forget. But I just gave you uh, three colors. That you just That's all you need to know right there, okay? So anyways, let's try to tell me our first load is diesel. It is diesel. He already got a placard. 
1993. Is that right? I've seen this before somewhere. It's 1993. Seen this before. Somebody on YouTube said something about 1993. Sounds so familiar. Anyway, so we, we, we pull our way up. I, okay, okay, so we got to do this thing. All right, let's try and tell me hard hat. Goggles on. Gave me a new pair of these blue chemical gloves. I new new shoe shine and everything. Okay, fresh out the package. Safety vest or no? All right, Miss Charlie. All right, well, I guess, I guess we really finna do this then. So I get out the truck. Miss Charlie. Scatter his car. Go press a bunch of buttons on the machine over there. Pull up this little handlebar. Truck makes some type of breaking noise. Said the first step. Hook up the scully cord, baby. I didn't know what that was. Mr. Char had to show me so You know, he showed me his little green scully cord. We hook it up. You know, press it in, turn. So, oh, okay. I said, what does that do? He said, it grounds the trailer. I said, oh, okay. Well, we had something similar <laughs> up there in North Dakota. We had, uh, 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 what do we have up in North Dakota, y'all? Uh, uh, jumper cables, man. We use jumper cables. The ground the trailer you know what i'm talking about it's nice and ghetto then we go back to the back he said yeah man this big old giant four inch holes right here man this little vapor recovery put that up so we hook that up too oh let's try let me do it yeah he don't want he, he let me do it he just he just telling me what to do i hook it up baby hook up this damn thing he said scully cord always first to be put on last to be taken off okay mr charlie i got you i ain't gonna forget I ain't going to forget. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of other ways to do it. I'm going to do it your way. So I put on the vapor recovery. And we go over to the arms. He said, get the yellow arm, man. That's the diesel. I said, oh, okay. That's the yellow diesel. But it don't say diesel on this. It says something like ultra, ultra sofa or something. Or did it say diesel? You know what? I don't remember what it said. I know on the trailer, because I asked him about it. He was showing me how to rotate the little the little name tag. I said, hey, man, why you didn't stop on diesel? He said, no, nah, we don't stop on diesel. We stop on the Ultra. I think it's Ultra Sofa. I think that's what it said. I was wondering why we don't stop on the diesel. Anyways, so Mr. Charlie showed me how to move this robotic arm and hook this up. I tried to hook it up. I couldn't figure out how to connect it at first. I was like, man, I'm trying to force it. I'm smacking the damn thing. I don't know what the hell I'm doing wrong. He's not nah, me. You got sitting on that then. Phone won't let me be great. But we connect this arm. Click it in. Tell me to spin the thing around. Okay, okay. Mr. Trouble got spin around. Okay. Okay, one compartment at a time, baby. We're going to do this back compartment. We do the back first or the front first? I think he told me to do the front first. Then we went to the back. Anyways, we go play on the machine, press a bunch of buttons, put in a bunch of important information, hit the start button. That damn trailer was loaded in about 10 minutes. 10 minutes flat. I said, damn, it's pretty fast, Mr. Charlie. Then, of course, Mr. Charlie asked me, did I read my code of conduct book? I heard this somewhere on YouTube. I heard it on YouTube somewhere. I, ain't gonna lie, I was watching some videos on YouTube. Somebody said something about reading this code of conduct book. So I happened to look at it before I went to work. And I know why he's asking me did I read the code of conduct. He think I ain't read it. Yeah, I'm finna surprise him. I said, uh, yeah, the next step after we uh, hook everything is the company want us to walk around the trailer. He said, oh, how did you know that? I thought, see, man, you wasn't see. Look, you thought I wasn't reading. You thought I wasn't reading. See, you, you thought I wasn't reading. Call him slipping, huh, Mr. Charlie? Thought, nope, Mr. Charlie, see, I read it. I read it. I may have, I may have read a portion of it, but I, I looked at it with my own eyes. Don't matter how fast I read it. I read it. I went through it. Don't matter if it took 10 seconds to get through the whole thing. I looked at it. I, I got my, I downloaded enough information in my brain to understand what's going on, Mr. Charlie. Anyways, we uh, unhook everything and we head to the first stop, baby. Man, we pulling up to the first stop. 
And I'm thinking in my head, okay, we finna go to the back of the diesel island, block off all the trucks or something, pull in sideways, you know, block something off. That's what I'm thinking. Nope. Nope. Pull in Mr. Charlie's store. Mr. Charlie got a unique area where you just pull straight through. Take out the holes that's already on the ground out here. I said, this is crazy. Mr. Charlie, y'all got your I ain't never y'all got your own place where you just pull up. The hose is already on the ground. I said, this okay. You can't be this easy. Mr. Charlie said, it's this easy. We get out the truck. Mr. Charlie said, we can go in and get a quick reading. So we go inside. Go inside the suit and tie guy's office. Hit that print button. Receipt this damn long print. I'm like, damn, Mr. Charlie, what's all this shoe shine on now? And Mr. Charlie was trying to explain the shoe shine on the receipt. I just ain't figured out exactly what he was talking about just yet with the with the the, the capacity and the, the eulage or something, some eulage or something. I, I can't I don't remember. It was a lot of information on the receipt. I don't I don't have a clue right now. So I'm still learning, baby. But after he printed that off, we went and we hooked up everything outside. Man, we hit that damn load off in another ten minutes. Ten minutes, the whole load gone. Walk back inside, got another. Uh, receipt printed, and that was pretty much load number one. We ended up doing three loads, took 12 hours, and we got paid for all of our time. That's all you need to know right there. But I ain't gonna give y'all too much information. What if it's only three minutes? Oh, that's all I got combined two clips together. It's more than three minutes. My food, my food in there cooking. I don't want to get too much away, but uh, this is actually day two. The first day was 12 hours of training on the laptop. This is 12 hours of real world training, so. You know, y'all didn't want to know if I'm doing fuel hauling. You know, uh, you guys want to know where I work at. I know you do. I know you do. Probably me is, you know, um, I don't know if I just want to tell y'all that, that just yet because, uh, then y'all going to, some, some of y'all going to feel some type of way about this job Mr. Charlie gave me. That's why every time we pull off, I got to look behind me. See if the damn trailer's still connected. Because I sometimes I'm, just, I'm waiting for Mr. Charles to say, Psych! He ain't said it yet, though.